hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this deep flyer restaurant design before jumping into this let's check the intro Take up graphic skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So without wasting much of our time guys, let's dive into today's tutorial. Hey, welcome back guys. As I said, I'm going to show you how to make an e-flyer on your Android smartphone. So without wasting much of our time, let's start. The first thing is to determine your size. So go to the size and use a custom size, we, uh, which is uh, 120 by 120. So after that, determine the background you want to use. This is the background, and let me show you how you can copy this. When you click on this, you can, you can copy the code here. This is the fourth, uh, uh, the fourth template I used. Now, how can you copy the code? Click on this uh, color bucket. When you click on it, which is the first key, tap on the uh, the color icon, then click on this uh, pencil. Then that one will show you the color code. You can copy the color code at once by writing F8 for D06. Then put it where under this extra, put it there. Or you put the red color, which is 248, green color 77 by 6. Then it will automatically give you this. When you tap on the second key, Click on this and check. That is F87, F10. That is 248 by red, green 120, and blue 1816. So when you click on it, then you got this. Now, actually, this is how it will get your home, but you have to move it to this edge. Why? Because I want the deeper color to be at the edge. Why? The one that is lighter will be spread inside. And that is how I achieve this now having got this then the next thing that we are going to do we are going to save this with a bg let's say bg uh gradient because we will need it later but i need to show you before we go further now close go to your chrome browser then we are going to smart mockup as you can see we are coming here to smart mockup so on getting to smart mockup we are going to search this clay iPhone 12 with change color. You see it? With changeable color. Clay iPhone 12 with changeable color. You can see. With changeable color. So let's search. So when you look at it, you could be able to get a series of it. Then we select the one that we want. So let's look at this. If we can actually get this. Let's look at this. With changeable color. This is the exact one that we want. Now, having got this, then we will go back to, we will check the size. Look at the size. The size is 1170 by 2532. So we are coming back, back here, we come to our PC lab, then we type the size, which is 1170. 1170 by 2532. 2532. Then we have this. Then when you go this, the next thing you will do is to close the old system. Then you go back and retype. That is 2532-1170. 1170. Now, we got this, as you can see. So, I'm deleting this because this is just a custom background. So, I'm having this at the end of the day. So, now that I got this, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select, uh, let's select the white background. We are going to select the white background, as you can see. Then, the next thing I'm going to... Uh, Put there is this chicken uh, let's say recipe burger or spicy burger. Let's say spicy burger. Good. 
So now, after I've gotten that, we are going to our the font that we want to use. So I'm using Appetite Italic font, which is this. So I'm going to increase the size to this level. So you can see. So go to your padding, then you move the padding to allow all the text to show. You can see it exactly like this. Now use your relative position to center. If it doesn't center, you can adjust that manually by using your grid, then you centralize it manually. So good. Now we are going to apply color. So we go to our color, we use that gradient color. You can see. So now we click OK. We go to our font again. On getting here, we, uh, we have to type alt. So let's say alt. You can see alt. Then we have uh, we have something here. Alt spicy. Then the next thing we are going to use, we use a Matissera bold italic. So it has to be here. Matissera bold italic. So we are going to position that here. You can see go to the color and you apply black color let it be deep so we're getting that we are going to adjust this by adding some stuff make it look real so we'll position it exactly like this so now that we have that we can reduce the size to make it fitting then we rearrange it centrally to make it work and uh, we can we can still adjust at later on so you can see so now we are going to change the font for this so we come here we have a font just move it to that way you want to change the font then you automatically have this now that we have that then the next thing that we are going to do we are going to go to our text area then we we'll put order now. We use Montezera regular at this junction. Montezera regular boat. It's okay. Then we are going to position it here. Give a space in between the alphabet. Exactly like this. Then you bring it to the bottom. Let it be big a little bit. Now position it very well. So now we have this and everything is plumb. So the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to change the color for this and make it look like this. Now that we have this, the next thing we are going to do is to save. We are going to save the whole work with transparent, I mean, with ultra dimension. Now we are going back to this place. We are going to upload. So upload image. Click on the file. Pixel up, then you import it. You wait for it to load. Now it's already loaded. You can see. But I see some, uh, but look at it, it still is okay. So now I'm going to download. Just click on download. We have a medium, I let look at the only medium. The rest uh, we have to pay. So click on the medium and you have it downloaded. So we have it downloaded. So you can see the result is already displayed. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to our photo room. But before photo room, I'm going to my Reminis app. I will tell you why I'm taking you to those area. So I'm going to Reminis app. I will import what I just see. Then use the Reminis app to enhance the quality of that image. So it won't take time. Within 10 seconds, everything 15 seconds. We are going to be done with that. This is how I normally make my design more. Then you see the hood and the before and after. So you can see how the image looked before. So it's clean it. Then we have it saved. So within 5 seconds plus 10 seconds, making 15 seconds as I said. Just tap, then you have it saved. Now you can go back to your photo room. Photo room is even far better. Or you go to your camera. Let's try our photo room first to remove the background. So we are clicking on this. Then let's see if it is not affect the inner. If it doesn't affect the inner, so it doesn't affect the inner. So it means the work is very, very what is very, very okay. So you tap on it, then you see the download options, then save it to the gallery. Now we have everything being saved. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going back to 
our PCLab. So we don't need this anymore. And we are going back by going to the project. So the background that we see, we are bringing it back to life. Now we have this. So we go to our, sorry, I made a mistake. I don't, I, I won't select this again. So I'm going to the one that I've removed the background. So as you can see, and you see how clean it is. This is how you should be able to, you should be making your design. Then you see. So now that we have it this way, we, we are going to position it to the center exactly as I did here. So you can see. So now after positioning it to the center, you can still use your manual, arrange, adjust it manually because at time it might not centralize. So after that, go to your gallery. You have all your resources that you want to use. You have it being saved. So I'm going to be applying them one after the other. So the first thing is to bring this one to life. As you see, as you can see. So I'm going to reduce the size. Have it positioned here. You can see. So you have it positioned around here. So after positioning it, and we can we can still adjust this a little bit, but it's still okay. So let me adjust a bit. So it's still okay. Then lock it. Now position this very well. So we have it being positioned now. After position, you have it locked. Let's go and apply shadow. We have to apply shadow to make it work. So having got the edge, the next thing we are going to do is to make uh, the shadow look more realistic. So position this shadow well, exactly like this, and uh, make it look more realistic. Go to the opacity, reduce the opacity a little bit. Very good. So now that we are able to achieve that, and uh, we can still reduce the size. Let's reduce the size some more. I think this is okay. So. So now that we have that being seen, then the next thing is to go to our right door and type chicken. We have chicken. Go to your font and use a Bibas font. We have Bibas font. Then you increase the size. Just rotate it exactly like this. Have it being increased a little bit. Exactly like this. So you have it being increased exactly like this. Then after that, Use your relative position to center it, then move it. Go to your position, move it in a little bit, and click on back. Now that you click on back, you can move it forward a little bit. Tap on it to copy, then edit it by writing burger. So we have a burger. Then after typing the burger, you have to give a much space here so that everything will rhyme. Don't increase the size so that the size will not be too much at one side and another. At time, whenever you are making a design, uniformity really matter, really matter because it will give beautify our design and make it look more professional. You can turn on your grid to make the size to be accurate. So after turning on the grid, you can now increase the size. Then you can actually see that. Uh, Everything is uh, is plumb and everything is rhyme. So send it back as usual as you did in the first steps. So after sending it back, then the next thing that we are going to do is everything is up is rhyme. So the next thing that we are going to do is to go to we need a shadow. We need a shadow. Should I go here? So here, we need to use a shadow. So go to shadow, enable it, then increasing the blur reduce a little bit. The offset while increasing it, then you increase, reduce this a little bit. So now that we've done that, I'm coming. So we can now position it under this by sending it to the back. 
If this doesn't work, then we can try other means. But I believe it will work and crash. If it doesn't work, you can you discover that uh, this thing doesn't even reflect anything. So you need to add a text to turn it to an image. Then it will be able to what you are applying will be able to take effect. Then you can see it has changed. So increase a bit. Go to here and reduce. You can see. So send it back. You can increase the size a bit. So, so okay like this. So now we are going to bring it down a bit. If it doesn't work, then we have a way. We are going to apply a shadow to this as well. As you can see, then reduce the size, reduce it, go to Y and you will increase a bit to something like 2. Blur reduce to 2 or 1. Then now we are able to create a shadow for it. So after that, we go to our gallery, we go to gallery, then we import other resources exactly like this. So we are going to reduce the size by positioning it here. So position it here. So what can we do to save our time? We are going to apply the shadow at once. Reduce reduce the shadow so good now what we are going to do reduce it a bit what we are going to do is to just copy after copy go to reselect so that you won't be able to apply shadow again so after reselecting you can now reduce you can see or click back then you can position that here you can see very good so the next thing to do is to copy the third one, then go to 3D rotation to move to this side. Okay. Then you position that here. Now we are done with everything. To make everything work, to make it work perfect, so we are going to lock all this. Then go to our write-up, import this social media and icon then we are going to position that here change the color to white as you can see so after that we are going to write uh, at boga square at boga so you can see then we are position that here so we can we can reposition very well reduce the size to something like two opacity reduce it to extreme radius blur radius to one enable the three the and offset to one then look at it opacity let it be two so just to apply something there so now we are done with everything as you can see we are done with it and this is how we can just arrive at that then we can we can we have saved it now let's just have it save with the ultra dimension then png thanks for watching i believe we all learned something goodbye